What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so we have definitely a, a new piece that's come out that we need to talk about. Uh, you know, it's been floating around in the Facebook groups. You know, I talked about it in my group, but I got to talk it to you guys because a lot of you probably aren't in my Facebook group or don't even use Facebook, which I commend you. But here it is. Check this out. So there's no word on scale, price, dimensions. However, if I was to judge, I would say this is probably a half scale. Uh, they're calling it human-sized scale, but human size would be life-size. It's definitely not life-size per se, but this is by Queen Studios. As you can see, you know, it has almost like a triple black underbase, some rocks, Jurassic World, light-up logo, and then... I mean, it looks like this T-Rex part alone could be its own, like, wall mount statue. Although wall mount something that big, oh my goodness. That thing probably weighs 150 pounds alone. I wouldn't want to wall mount something that heavy. Uh, but, and then you have this giant T-Rex, and you're getting, you know, the arms and everything. And a big, giant roar. Absolutely crazy looking. Let's check out a few more photos. Alrighty, so check this out. This really shows the level of detail. You can see there's like saliva on those teeth. And you can see with the hand, this thing is truly massive. The tongue looks really good. The skin texture, I mean, it looks very realistic. The, you know, inner mouth part right there looks great. Very glossy looking. You know, I'm quite confident it's going to be glass eyes. But they look really good in that picture. All right, and here is another image on statue form. Yeah, definitely glass eyes, really nice skin texture, teeth look amazing, uh, some scars right here. You know, and this is the T-Rex from Jurassic World. So Jurassic Park does look different. Yeah, so the detail in the paint app looks absolutely amazing. Here is another pick, let's enlarge it. You know, definitely freakishly huge. Like, this is massive. I am real curious on the dimensions. Most notably, how deep is this black base from right there to right there? Now, you, know, you can see this small Asian guy next to it. It's really hard to judge something based off seeing an Asian guy next to him. Because they often are, you know, very small people. You know, the guys are like 5'7". So it's hard to judge it. And I'm curious on options. Are they going to have it like this big size and then a smaller sized one, similar to like the Balrog situation? How much does this cost? Balrog, which is very big, this looks bigger, uh, at least taller. Balrog was priced at nearly $7,000. The big Thanos was 6000 So the question begs, how much is this one going to cost? I mean, if we continue the trend, this could cost eight to nine to possibly even ten thousand uh, dollars. Granted, I think this is cooler than Balrog. You know, the base looks quite cool. I really want to know the dimensions because you know I really do love this. Let's see, here's another pick. I haven't seen this one actually. Yeah, look at that. That's killer. Yeah. Plus, with that mouth coming out, how deep is that Jupiter? You know, you can see the Queen Superman, Wonder Woman shield. I don't know what that is. What is that? Check that out. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So you can see how deep this truly is at this angle. So the rock extends past the black base and the T-Rex past the black base. So the T-Rex is really the deepest part from right there to there. Hmm. I wonder if Queen Studios is considering, like, can this even fit through that door? Because that's one thing about these giant pieces. Because I saw Mr. X's review on this Balrog, and he could even put it downstairs where he wanted to because it just wouldn't fit. And it's, you know, it's like Thanos barely fit through the door. Like, he did fit. There was, like, maybe two inches to spare. But Queen needs to make sure that you can actually fit this through a door. Like, you don't need to have a double door to fit this. I'm definitely very impressed. This is extremely ambitious, and frankly, it looks incredible. I am, you know, like, this is one of the coolest things Queen Studios has done. You know, like, I can only imagine the price of this little Superman bus costs 
four thousand dollars how much is this thing that's five times bigger going to cost so real curious on the pricing you know you see those scars right there probably from the indominus rex but i'm real curious on pricing and real curious on the dimensions like could this fit you know even in my collection could it go into my basement because that's a huge deal like if i couldn't fit this in my you know 31 inch wide door immediately it's off the table but if if this fits through the door if this is under ten thousand dollars shipped and if it fits where i want to display it i will buy this and i want to put it right there so i'm going to show you a photoshop but i have an idea on how i could make this work basically now my my picture Photoshop might be a little bit off, but you know, we have a life size endo. We have the Arnold. Ultimately, I want this to all be Terminator. And right here to the right is kind of like kind of randomish stuff. You know, I have like Red Sonia, Vampirella, I plan to get Blade and Underworld. But if I could just do all Jurassic from right here to there, that would mean I'd have a Terminator and Jurassic Park, two of my favorite movies growing up, on each side of my TV. And I really like that idea. I may even consider if I get the T-Rex and I put it right there, I'd probably move the life-size endo there and put that shelf on the left. That way I have kind of two life-size-ish statues next to each side of the TV. Now what I'd do is I'd get rid of that 60-inch shelf, throw a 36-inch shelf there, which would end right there, and I would put blue. Blue would go right there. And maybe even consider the blue half scale to go with it. Then, and that... Uh, shelf right there would be the Giganotosaurus. <laughs> and I would change that shelf right there, which is currently a 36 inch wide, to a 25 inch. Although if it's a 25, I'd probably have to do blue there and the Giganotosaurus here. Uh, Cause he needs the three feet wide where blue could fit on a two feet wide shelf. Uh, but basically I would have a shelf end right where, you know, the rotunda T-Rex ends, and then I would be able to fit the Queen Studios one right there. Now, granted, there's limited, you know, depth. Like, right now, that shelf is 25 inches. I could, you know, have the T-Rex come out an extra five inches, and it wouldn't be too much of a walking hazard. Not too much. But it definitely can't be any more than, you know, three, I mean, under three feet deep. Because then you're going into some serious walking hazards. Uh, height, you know, it's definitely not going to be as tall as Endo, so I don't think height is a problem. I don't think width will be a problem, because realistically, I'm going to have at least three feet width. So I think it could fit. Now, I kind of did two Photoshops, and I'm going to show you, and I think this one's too big. But, you know, that, like that's kind of an idea. Although, maybe switch those two. Uh, kind of depends, honestly. I think I made it too big right there, because I, I made it six and a half feet tall, and I don't think it's that big. Let me show you the other Photoshop, though. Here's another one. I don't know why it's kind of blurry. Uh, you know, I sent it to a friend on Instagram, but this I think is the more appropriate size. And if that's the case, it looks like it would fit. So yeah, I am very impressed with this piece though. I think it would be definitely an absolutely crazy cool piece in person. I'm a huge fan of my Jurassic statues. And I would love to have a scenario where that is like the centerpiece and it's surrounded by everything. But, you know, my Jurassic Park statues work really good right now in the hallway. And having that next to Rotunda, you know, almost like a bus next to one-fourth type of scenario. And having the two Jurassic World statues, Blue and the Giganotosaurus, next to it, because that's from World. It kind of gave me three Jurassic displays. You got World, the Super Predators underneath, and Jurassic Park above. So I, I definitely uh, am liking this idea. And I actually may even switch the Giganotosaurus and Indominus Rex. So it kind of represents Jurassic World 1 with blue Indominus Rex and, you know, the T-Rex. But yeah, I really like this. I think Queen did a phenomenal job and I'm really excited to see how, you know, if, if I could get it. I just have to confirm that it will fit through the door. It'll fit in my spot and the price is under 10000 And then, so then you guys are probably wondering, well, you know, what are you going to do with all the statues right here? Well, I would sell all that and move that 
over there and probably sell Cinema Cat. Or sell that and keep Cinema Cat and just keep that wall as is and forego Prime 1 Predators. You know, although that is definitely better than Cinema Cat, so I'd probably sell Cinema Cat. And that would just mean I sell, you know, everything above. You know, I'd probably lower XM and keep that and then just do the, you know, Berserker Predator above. Prime 1 Jungle Hunter there. And then eventually when Prime 1 does Wolf, you know, get the new Wolf. But, yeah, I would definitely do this. And then, as far as, like, Blade and Selene, I have a few options. Like, if I... I mean, I'm never going to sell that mummy. But if I did just that and that there, I could technically put Selene and Blade here. You know, I, I would be open to getting rid of Medusa. I could never get rid of that mummy, though. I love that way too much. So I'd have to somehow find another spot for that. I would, uh, you know... See about moving these two to fit Selene and Blake. Those are very important. But I'd definitely be open to selling one of my jungle predators and the Lita display and Red Sony display to fund that T-Rex and give me the necessary space. Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think of this T-Rex. Is this thing too crazy? Or do you think it's just absolutely mind-boggling cool? You know, ever since I got Thanos bust, I'm just like, oh my gosh, these massive statement pieces are beyond cool and definitely more impressive than having a bunch of smaller statues you know so i'm very curious if this is if this could work i mean if it doesn't fit it's fine you know i'll keep the you know plan as is but if it fits i definitely would love to prioritize and do half terminator half jurassic and keep it like so anyways folks that is it let me know what you think like comment, subscribe have a great day